Well, hello, fellow RC heli enthusiasts again. This is Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to give you a tutorial on how to set up the heli store governor mode on the Avian line of smart ESCs. Follow along to learn how. be asking yourself what is a governor mode essentially what the avian esc uses is a stored governor mode that records the rpm of the motor internally onto the speed control and what that does is it helps assist the rotor head to stay within a certain range that you prescribe to hold a certain rpm this helps with aerobatics it can help keep the motor and the ESC from overdriving itself. There are a bunch of different reasons that you might use to need to use this, and I'm gonna walk you through how to calibrate and set up the governor mode here. Number one is make sure the device, the aircraft that you're wishing to put a governor mode on is fully assembled and essentially ready to fly because we're gonna do a calibration where it needs to be all set up. Number two is you'll want to set your ESC to governor mode. You can do this simply by using the box that we have, the programming box, or you can change modes on the ESC with the throttle stick. I have a video on how to do that and I'll link it in the description or the comments below. Go ahead and check it out if you need help on changing the modes on your ESC. Once you have changed it to Heli Store Governor Mode, this is where you'd want to do a stick calibration. So now my uh, helicopter is all ready to be plugged in. I've got my motor moved away from my pinion gear just for safety's sake, and I've stretched out my blades to reduce the stress on the servos, and we're going to calibrate the ESC. So for number one on the calibration, you do want to set up your radio so that you have a throttle curve that's going to 100% for the high, all the way down to 0% for the low, because we're gonna be calibrating the endpoints. So let's go ahead and calibrate our ESC. So we're gonna start off before we plug in our battery by putting our throttle stick all the way up. We're plug in our battery. It's gonna give us our two tones there and then we're gonna drop the throttle stick all the way. And then it will initialize the ESC but it'll give us a single tone at the end, just like that. So keep an eye on that sound. And now your ESC is calibrated for the endpoints. But there's one more calibration that we need to accomplish. And that is the store governor calibration. This is done with a helicopter or a model that is completely set up, ready to fly. You've gone through all your settings and everything like that. And we're going to take it out to the field and we're going to set up a throttle curve or just set this throttle at 50% and let it just sit there essentially. So follow along with us at the field while we accomplish that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our heli store governor calibration. Uh, essentially what you're gonna wanna do is have a nice cold, cold day like me. No, not really, uh, just a, a good day. Um, and we're gonna put the heli out and we're gonna just let it rev up to 50%. What I've done is I've set a pitch curve and a throttle curve, both to 50% all the way across. So when I flip into that mode, that's uh, what I'll call my calibration mode. And we're going to let the heli run up for about 20 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds is how long it takes to calibrate. And the ESC will remember that that's the RPM that it will obtain with your battery, with your power system, with your blades attached, everything ready to fly. That's the RPM that it's gonna get at 50% throttle. And once it's calibrated, that's when you can start setting up throttle curves and things like that to obtain the head speed that you want. We're gonna go ahead and go do that. I'll show you how to do that with our PC programmer. One main thing that you'll want to do is make sure you have a fully charged battery. If for whatever reason you need to change the governor setting, if you, let's say you change your motor or you change the battery type that you're using, you're going to a five cell instead of a six cell, you'll have to recalibrate. To recalibrate, you'll have to reset the ESC. So that means go to factory reset and reset it back to defaults and then set it back up. Then you can do the store governor again. So now that I've said that, let's put it out on our sidewalk here and throttle it up, let it sit for 15 to 20 seconds at 50% throttle, and let it calibrate the governor. Um, and then you may need to put a little bit of stick input just to keep it stable. The 50% pitch should keep it on, on the ground, but that's just what I'm gonna do. So hopefully it doesn't walk around too much. Let's do it. So 
it's going to rev up to that 50% mark. And we're just going to wait for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we're going to call it good. And it's stored. All right, so now that we've got a couple more grass stains on our helicopter's tail blades, let's go ahead and plug it into our SmartLink programmer app and we can use that to calculate a good RPM range that we would want on our head speed for our different flight modes or our different stunt modes or idle up modes, however you want to call it. So let's get started on that. First up for the SmartLink app, you're going to want to download it off of our website for your Windows-based PC. I'll have a link for that in down in the description below. Just go ahead and download and install that SmartLink app. Get your Spectrum Smart ESC programmer ready, and we're going to plug it in. So here's the right order to do it. So here are the steps to connect your Spectrum programmer box between your ESC, or this ESC that we're using here, um, to your computer. So first step is to get the included mail-to-mail -mail servo lead and plug it into the fan port or the programming port on your ESC. On these ESCs, it's the fan port, and you'll see it right there. So you gotta unplug the fan and plug it in. And then some, there's a dedicated programming port. Just find out which one that is. And then we're going to plug it into the ESC side there. So it says ESC, and then it has a signal wire. So make sure you get the white signal wire to the S side. And then we're going to plug in our USB cable. So we'll plug in USB here and then we'll plug it into our computer. It'll boot up the programmer box as you see here, like that. And then the drivers will install. And then we're gonna plug in our flight battery. And then you'll see it'll say connecting PC. All right, let's take a look at what we see here on the programmer. All right, we'll tap connect down at the bottom here. And we should get a progress bar. And then we're gonna go to speed governing. All right, so here we're going to put in a couple of values and ignore these ones on the right side here where we have the main blades. These are just um, not quite right yet until we put in some information. So we're gonna put in the motor poles. This is gonna be eight poles, not 88, eight. And then we wanna put in our drive ratio. So the pinion gear I'm using is an 11 tooth and the main gear is an 112 tooth. And once you've got all those in, you'll have your main blades, 100% main blade RPM and then a kind of a calculating slider here. So there's a couple ways you can use this. You can either move the slider up to, let's say we want to put 60% RPM or 60% as one of our throttle curves. So that's going to give us a calculated main blade RPM, your head blade RPM to 1700 or thereabout. Or you could go over here and type in what your desired RPM is. Let's say I want to obtain 2000 RPM. So then we're going to want to set our throttle curve to 70%. And then let's say we want to get 2800 RPM. Then we're going to set our throttle curve to 98%. Uh, but it gives us a little warning here saying that that's too high. So the reason it says that is because you want to give it a little bit of headroom at the top so that if you have an over rev situation it's not going to over rev the motor and cause any issues with your ESC. So 90% is their top that they recommend and then 60% is the bottom and if you go lower you might have some issues as well. So they just kind of give you or we give you a range to play around in. So let's say we want to have a low RPM. I think 65 is a good place to start. So 1800. So let's go to 1900. 1900 RPM for our low stunt mode. And then for our high, let's say 90% is going to give us around 2500. So let's just say 2500. So we're going to set our throttle curves to around 87. 0.8 or just 87, 88, or 66.7 or 67. We can round up a little bit and we're going to have a 
head speed at around that speed. So that's how you use the speed governing sliding calculator on here. This actually doesn't really do anything to the ESC itself. It's just reading the calibration that we just did out in the field and allowing us to find out what the RPM that we want to use along with the RPM that we can obtain. So it's pretty simple. You don't even need to hit apply or save. It's all good. So we'll put those numbers into our throttle curve and those will be good. And we're finished with our governor setup on our Spectrum Avian ESC. The Avian ESC that we used for this video was the 100 amp, but everything that you learn here is applicable with all the Avian ESCs with the store governor mode. And explain how to use the SmartLink app to calculate the proper RPM head speed that you wish to obtain. If you have any other questions, feel free to hit us up in the comments below or message us directly on Facebook at SpectrumRC's Facebook page. This is Tom again, signing off. Thanks for watching and happy flying.